What's up guys, Robert Optimal Bodies. Now one of the biggest problems that I hear from people um, and I've experienced myself is actually getting into the gym. So if someone wants to lose weight or improve their body composition or increase muscle, just want to get, uh, get some increase in fitness, um, most people say they haven't got enough time. Which is understandable, we live busy lives if you've got families, uh, you've got commitments, jobs etc. Um, then you just some people just don't think they've got enough time to get into the gym. So, I'm going to try and give you some solutions um, to manage that time. And not only just getting into the gym in the first place, it's what you do in the gym. Uh, which I think, as I've noticed, is the main problem with people saying they haven't got enough time because they're thinking in the head, oh, I've got to do a, up to like a two hour workout, one and a half hours, even like an hour. Um, and they just can't, in the head, they think, no, that, that's far too long, I'm not going to be able to do that. Because they'll speak to their friends or someone who's getting results or someone who's going to the gym a lot and they, they might be out of the house for up to a couple of hours. But if you actually look at what people do in the gym, they're not actually work. they say they do a two hour workout, they're not actually working for two hours. So they're not actually two hours non-stop uh, doing some sort of movement, they're not lifting weights for two hours, they're not running for two hours, very rarely anyway. Um, most of the time is spent actually resting, so you do a set and then, yes I see people, I see it all the time, People might rest for up to five, even I've seen ten minutes at plus. Um, that's not actually doing the work. So you don't the rest time doesn't need to be equated into your time allotted time that you need for the gym if you can cut it down. So that's that's one of the problems that needs to be made into a solution. So first of all, you if you can do a two hour workout non stop then you're some sort of machine. So that's that's not the case. You don't need to be working out for that long. Uh, if you actually, if you actually got a stopwatch and pressed it every time you started doing a set and then stopped it and then you started another set and pressed it again and added up the time, you'd be very surprised how how low time that would be. That total time actually lifting weight. A set might last 10, 15 seconds. You you do a 15, 20 set workout. It's not a lot of time in total. So you need to need to put that into perspective with these two hour workout people. So you don't need a lot of time. That's basically the, the main message. So getting to the gym in the first place, I think if you're working out on your own especially, uh, but even with a Pythos 2E, you can get a good half an hour workout in and get some really good results. That's if you're cutting these rest periods down. So uh, research and study shows, and even from experience and then training myself and training clients, one or two minutes maximum is a great amount of time to recover and still being able to maintain your performance on your next set. So that's a good rule of thumb to go by, that's a good guide. Um, if, if if you're resting, say you try, say right, I'm gonna cut it down, rest a minute. If your performance starts to drop and you can't match that last set close, so say you did 10 reps with a certain weight, if you can only do six with it, then maybe rest a little bit longer next time and try and maintain your performance. Within a couple of reps, you might get 10, next set you might get eight with the same weight and then you might have to drop to six reps. If, that, if it's around that, you're dropping a couple of reps and that's all then you've rested long enough. Um, if if you rest five minutes and you still and you get another ten reps, um, you could just rest a minute and still get ten reps. So you've saved yourself four minutes. You do that every set in for every exercise, it soon adds up, it really adds up, and all of a sudden you've you've increased your time in the gym um, just irrelevantly really and you've got this mindset that you need to come in for so much time. You've got this a lot of time you need to put to the side. Um, and you really just don't need that much time to get a workout in. So keep the rest periods down. And first of all, just get into the gym in the first place. Um, if it's a half an hour workout, what's that? An episode of Coronation Street, Hollyoaks, whatever. If you could skip, if you skipped that, you could have got your workout in and out. Um, so look at how much time you just, if you go home, you sit in front of the TV, you might fall asleep. That time adds up. You could have got at least a workout in that time. Um, so it is... It's all about sacrifice as well that to get into the gym in the first place. Think about things you can cut out that it's really not that really imp majorly important. If you really want to change your body, um, motivate yourself and you cut something out that you just think, I really don't need. Um, so you didn't need to watch that program, you didn't need that nap. Um, something like that. You, you didn't need to sit on Tinder or sit on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat for that long. That time adds up, okay? So get into the gym in the first place, it can be done because you don't need that massive workout because you're going to cut your rest periods down. 
which will automatically cut your total workout time down. So rest less between sets, one or two minutes as long as you're maintaining performance. If you're not, add a little bit more rest and your body will get better at recovering so your rest time will come down over time and that will just make your workout even shorter as long as you maintain performance, okay? So make sure your strength's going up, you're improving on something. Then if you're improving, your body's going to change because it has to adapt to that new stimulus, okay? Uh, another one, it sounds bad, but don't socialise as much. It's not a social club. Get in, even if you have to put your headphones on and it, that really puts people off talking to you. If you've got your headphones on, you're serious, you want to just get on with your workout. You don't feel you have to give everyone your time in the gym because you, you spend five, ten minutes talking to every person that you see. That could be five people, 50 minutes, an hour's passed, and that's just talk, total time talking to people, okay? So cut that down. Um, just try to get on with your workout. You don't have to be rude, but people, that they'll understand you're there to work out. Get in, get out, but keep that performance going and make sure you're improving. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your time, okay? Um, and last but not least, I'd say keep off your mobile. You might need it for your music, something like that, but if you're getting text messages and uh, stuff coming through on Facebook and that, try just either turn your notifications off for that for the, just while you're in the gym or ignore it because if you once you open a text and you start going, that might be time added on. You, you start getting into a big conversation uh, and that just adds to your time. It, and also, it takes your mind off the training and then you, you, lose, you, you lose your pump, you lose your, lose your energy to go for the gym, you, you lose that zone and that mindset your mind's all suddenly on something else. So just try and switch off for that half an hour and then get a really good workout in. And then go home and relax and then start talking to your friends and they'll understand you've been in the gym. Most likely you'll post it on Facebook because we all do. Otherwise the workout didn't count, did it? So um, that's my major tips. Get in the gym in the first place. Save time while you're in the gym. You don't have to do two hour workouts. Um, if you're on your own, 25 to 30 minutes, you can get a really good workout. And then it depends how many times a week you can come to the gym. If you can come two or three times, you can split it into smaller chunks, 20 minutes, three times. If you only come once, get an hour in, might need that hour to get more body parts done. So it's all individualistic, personal. So any questions on this or ways that if you've got some, if you really can't get in the gym or you want some more work tips to reduce your workout time but still get your results, um, just drop me a message or a personal message or post in the comments below. This is Optimal Bodies. We're sponsored by Dam Fitness. Check them out at damfitness.com. Quote Rob10 and get 10% off some decent gym clothing. Okay, cheers for listening, guys. See you later.